Let's take a look at some of these connection problems. Here's the first one, which I'm not going to answer for you. I'm just going to tell you how to think about this problem. It says, which real world situation may be model modeled by the following graph? Now notice in the graph we have our x and our y axis. Okay, those are just our standard things. And this is our line, the blue line. What I want you to notice is what's happening to the line. The further it goes to the right, it's going down or decreasing. Okay, so this is a decreasing line, negative. Look at these situations. Which of these would be decreasing or getting smaller as time goes by? The growth of, growth of a child, does that get smaller? Okay, do they get shorter as they go? The sum of a monthly fee, the sum of a monthly fee over years time. So if you get a fee every month, does it decrease or does it add up to be more? We want something that's decreasing. The steady decrease in the value of a car, is that a decreasing value? Or the acceleration of a rocket after liftoff? Okay, so you need to select the one that is decreasing because that line right there represents a decreasing value. Right, and here's our last example. Jason is comparing surveys on cars. Um, a specific brand has scored on its characteristics in the following weights of importance. So this is a weighted average. It wants to calculate the mean, which means the average score to the nearest tenth. But notice next to them they each have weights. This is a weight of three, this is a weight of five, this is a weight of one, and this is a weight of one, which means that since this is a weight of one and this is a weight of five, it's five times more important. The safety is five times more important and then the cost of repairs. This one up here, weighted three, the drivetrain, they determined is three times more important than the cost of, of repairs or the gas mileage. Okay, that's what they've determined here, so that's what we're gonna use. So for the weighting, what I'm gonna do is, instead of writing two once, because for an average, we add the numbers together, divide by how many there are, we're gonna do each weight separately. So since the first one is weight three and it was a score of two, I'm gonna put three twos, okay? The next one was weighted 3.5, but it was a weight of five, so I'm gonna put five 3.5s. The next one had a rating of four, but it was only weighted one, so I'm only gonna put one four. And the final one was a two, but it only, again, only had a weight of one, so I'm only gonna put one there. And then I divide by how many there are. Okay, so two plus four, excuse me, sorry. So this had a weight of three plus five is eight, nine, 10. And you can double check that up here. Okay, we can count how many numbers we had involved. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So that is how we find an average. We add the numbers together and divide by 10. The only difference was we had different weights so we put however many it listed its weight, we put that many numbers down. So let's add the top together. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3.5. 5 times plus 4 plus 2. When you do that, we get 29.5. And we're going to divide that by 10 and we'll have our answer. That gives us a rating of 2.95. They wanted rounded to the nearest tenth. So this five is gonna make the nine round up. So 2.9, nine rounds up to 10 or three. In this case, it rounds it up to 3.0.